Okay, don't think about it because okay. you obsess over things. <laughs> Good job. You didn't even like flinch or anything. Grizz, what happened? We've got a problem. Did you find a little sweet hottie with pink red lips? <laughs> Have you ever seen a dog wear lipstick? No. Then why do you put lipstick on a dog? Look at this. You put it on the dog. That's not written in a book anywhere. That's not like, you can't look that up online and say, what do you do if your son? I bit a bomb. I bit a bomb. Yeah, this was a yolk bomb. bomb. Yep, a yolk bomb. Oh, that looks pretty yummy. Can you go, you want pepper on yours? No. No? You'll be fine. It's not a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot. You won't even taste it. You want me to break your yolk so it's not squishy? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of eggs do you want? You want just have a, do you just want to have that kind of egg? Uh, maybe you should go wash your hands. Yeah, there's a sink over there. What are you doing, man? Just hold on, break our bag. Guys, there's a sink right here. <laughs> How's your mustard food? It's not mustard. <laughs> it looks like you have like mustard or something on there, but it's actually just syrup and okay. sprinkles. Is that okay. Yellow sprinkles. You said Gold you sprinkles. Gold sprinkles, sorry. Are you scared for your shots? A tiny bit? I think you actually only get one shot. So are you more scared for the actual shot or that your arm will hurt later? Only for the actual shot because I don't really care if my arm is sore. I don't see. The flu shot, that doesn't hurt. Is it just like the flu shot? Yeah. Just it's, quick and easy. It's really just thinking about it. Like, like if I don't really think about it, then it's fine. But if I can think about it, then it's like, oh, this is just good. Okay, don't think about it because okay. you obsess over things. <laughs>
Every time we put their address in our maps, it does not take us to their house. It takes us to a weird place every single time. We think we're on the right road now. Are we on the right path? It's, it's really rough. bumpy. It's a bumpy path. I don't even know what to think right now. <laughs> I don't know. There must be cows in here because they want us to keep the gate closed. So we are always looking for experiences. Yeah. And this might be another experience. So we have been tasked to go out and search and find um, for the family a, play, a gathering place. And um, a place where everybody can come together and do things together that are kind of in the outdoors but also have the amenities of like home where you have the bathroom and you have those kinds of things that are on it's on their own property not in public lands or anything like that and we've been searching and we just found this spot it's 45 acres roughly and um, I don't know it's we really like it we don't know mm -hmm. we don't know what's gonna happen with it it may be, it may not turn out to be anything but it's, it was fun to come out and look and um, Anyway, it's beautiful out here. It's like it's beautiful. So beautiful. We're sitting on a pork swing overlooking this really cool a canyon, basically. But anyway, we're we're kind of excited that we get to just go out and on a, on a Saturday and just go kind of look at some fun stuff. And it's fun to look. And uh, we'll just keep you guys posted as to seeing what happens. This this will be perfect if this is a place. I don't know if it's feasible, but mm -hmm. we're excited to just get out and, and into the mountains for a minute. This isn't really the mountains, it's more the flatlands, but close it's still to the mountains. pretty. So guys, today we got Daddy. these. Daddy made these. This this is for me. This is my bag. And then so there's a bunch of these. And I'm but Nigo these. wanted this thing so badly. I already opened We're it. opening it then. So, let's see what I we have. Hey, what do you have? Let's see. What the, what the? I just I got like a scorpion. Oh, I just wanted a scorpion. Good choice, Geek. What I the? just got a what scorpion. What did I get? What? The spider, I got the spider, Geek. I got the scorpion. Good job. Grizz, what happened? We've got a problem. <laughs> we heard him run away upstairs. What happened? I heard him come and run in my room and I didn't know what the heck. <laughs> He's been kissing a, a, I don't know. Is it lipstick? Yeah. But I don't know whose lipstick it would be, where it came from. That's bright pink. I know, who has that lipstick? I don't have pink lipstick. He needs Grizzly. a bath now. Grizzly. Did you go out kissing people? Did you kiss someone? Huh? Did you find a little sweet hottie with pink red lips? <laughs> huh? He's like, no. He's like, I'm just a baby. Don't talk to me like that. Here's one on the stairs. Ellie Griffin needs to bath. Right now. <laughs> Have you ever seen a dog wear lipstick? No. Then why you put lipstick on a dog? Where do you get that idea? Um, no, it's not funny. My brain. What brain? Your brain told you to put lipstick on a dog. Yeah. Let me see your hands. Look at this. You put it on the dog. Why you put it on the dog? It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny at all. Look at your brother over here. Hi. <laughs> okay, go get cleaned up right now. He's your brother. He's your son. <laughs> He's my brother too. Yo, I'm down there I'm like, what is this red? The dog's bleeding and I'm like freaking out. And it's not blood. Me and Allie are sitting upstairs and we hear him just tear, like tear through the carpet, just running as fast as he possibly could. And we're like, oh, he's got the zoomies, whatever. No, he was trying to get away from no, lipstick being put on. Canyon. Uh, what do we do about this? It's not on the carpet, that's one good thing. Just put lipstick in your eye? I don't know what I rubbed in my eye, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 
It's lipstick. It's yeah, get rid of that, please. It's dollar store lipstick. Wow, dude. One of the biggest one of the biggest difficulties of being a parent is discipline. Like what do you do? When a child puts dog on the lip or a lipstick what, on the dog. Yeah, that's not written in a book anywhere. That's not like you can't look that up online and say, what do you do if your son? Like what do you like dude, what are we gonna do about this? You can put lipstick on yourself all you want. No, don't touch the lipstick ever again unless you're with the, these girls. Okay? Yeah, they know everything about lipstick pretty much. <sighs> <laughs> At least it's not on the carpet because then I'd have to be well, have we checked everywhere actually? Grid, you oh, be down boy. Is he clean? Whoa, this place is clean. Look at this, guys. Look at this room. It's beautiful. Oh, there's a marker down here on the floor, though. There's a green marker down here. Put the lid off. Sometimes I wonder why we put carpet in. Grizz, did you let Gigo put... Look at him. Did you let Gigo put chapstick on you? Is this from you? Is that lipstick from you? Did you ask uh, Ken like, you oh, want it to put good. lipstick on Chris, you? Chris, Was what? that lipstick even animal tested? <laughs> he looks like he's bleeding. I know, when you Stop. first said to come here, I thought he was bleeding. I know, so Charlie, did you let him do that? Did you <laughs> let him do that, Charlie? He's like, shush you. Charlie woke up twice this morning at first four o'clock to go to the bathroom, and then two hours later, and that's not the part I'm upset about, okay? You know when you wake up and you see something and it just scares you? Like when you have blankets or something and it looks like a person? Mm -hmm. Well, I had my laundry basket right there and I opened my eyes at one point because Charlie went and slapped me in the face and hurried and like walked off to try to wake me up. What are you stop. doing? <laughs> Sasbury, stop. To try to wake me up and I was like, ugh. <laughs> and I hear him like scamper off and I open my eyes and he's like peeking his head <laughs> behind my laundry basket. His eyes like wide and he's like, Pick Oh. <laughs> it's Asbury. Asbury has <laughs> it on. Look, it's Asbury. I love his girl. <laughs> Look, it's, it's Asbury. Me. It's your boy. <laughs> He's, like, <laughs> He's like, it's you. Let's go it's throw you in the bathroom. Yeah, this is me getting money buddies at 11, 12 o'clock at night. 12 o'clock at night. This is me. Eating my midnight snack, um, or getting my midnight. I have a giant spoon because I don't want to get my fingers covered in powdered sugar because I'm just extra that way. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. But before I go to bed, I wanna let you guys know that, let's come up with a quick message here. You know, we'll just, we'll just do my message. It's a great day to have a great day. I'm just saying, if you're having a sucky day, it's your own fault. Not in a bad way, not in, <laughs> that sounds like such a, your fault kind of thing, no. If someone's doing something to you, you're allowing them to hurt you, therefore you're having a bad day because of that, because you're allowing it to get to you. You have to, you don't have to. I'm trying to make this quick because I really need to pee and go to bed. <laughs> um, if someone else, let's say, there's someone bullying you, that's like a really, really simple thing. If someone is bullying you, and you're feeling bad about it, it's because you're letting it get to you. If you're not saying, this person is bullying me because I have this going on and they're insecure about this of themselves, so I need to try to help them, or something like that. If you're saying, they're right, they're right, they're right. It's, you're allowing yourself to get hurt. That is what you're doing. And you can't have a good, happy day if you allow things to get to you. So that's my message, is don't allow those little things that don't really matter those little things get to you. Little things, sweet and short. Love you guys so much and as always, you are worth it, bye guys.